The last thing I wanted to cover is uh, how to save an image because this is something I, I run into a lot when I've got to create something for somebody else. Now I'm going to – so I've got the B photo open again. And I have a couple of options when it comes to, uh, to saving this image. Um, if I'm going to save it for print, or I, I need to keep it in, in a very high resolution for any reason, uh, I would choose under File menu. I can save a copy, save as, just like any other application like Word or Excel, anything where you've got you know, a file menu. I have a lot of file type options down here. JPEG, which you might be familiar with from you know, using the web. We've also got GIF on there or GIF. I'm not going to get into that debate today, but of course that's also on there. PNG, these tend to be your more web-friendly um, formats. A lot of other options on here too that will, uh, that will preserve a lot of detail if you have a very high resolution image. Uh, TIFF tends to be a go-to if it's going to be something that's, that you need to print. You have a top-notch camera. You don't want to lose any quality. You want to make these really significant changes and save it without losing anything. Uh, TIFF is usually a good way to go for that if you're going to end up sending it to a printer. So that's one way. And I'm going to cancel out of this to go show you the other way. Uh, the other way, which I tend to use more often than, than just a file save as, and I'll show you why. Under File, now in my version, this is the difference version-wise. In the version that I'm using, I'm, using, I'm in uh, Creative Cloud, the latest one, the Save for Web has been moved to a submenu. So I'm going to show you where it is for me. If you have a version previous to, I believe, 2014 Creative Cloud, if you're operating on any of the Creative Suite versions, it will just be right under Save As. I believe it's Save for Web and Devices is what it's called. Or Save for Web is definitely a part of it. So for me though, it's under Export, Save for Web Legacy. So it's been kind of relegated off to the side. Um, I'm not sure why, but it's, I'm glad it's still there because I use it a lot. So if I'm going to save this for use online, if I'm going to post it to, uh, to, excuse me, to, uh, to Facebook or Twitter or put it on our website, then this is where I would go. So once I've clicked that, I've got a few options here. I can choose on the upper right, we've got presets. Some of the for file formats that I mentioned before uh, are present here. So there's GIF, there's JPEG, and there's PNG. So depending on what what the subject is will determine what it is um, I should be using. I would say just a, a good rule of thumb, if it's anything that, that's been illustrated, GIF and PNG are good ways to go. Uh, if it's a photograph, if it's something that's real, uh, then JPEG is, is definitely the one. And in, in, in earlier days of smaller bandwidth, you would have had to make uh, choices between the quality, so high, low, medium, things like that, for, for example, for the JPEG. But if I, if I choose JPEG on high, you can see the quality here is 60. I can bump that up if I need to. It will make the file size a little larger, but it also retain a little more detail uh, to the image. And if I haven't uh, specified an image size already with the, the steps that I showed earlier under the image menu, I can still do that here. I can specify a smaller image size if I have a very specific uh, you know, size in mind. If I just need it 320 wide, you can see that the number below it changed to 219, and the, the preview also uh, adjusted to meet that, that size. So this will save it for, for use on the web in a, in a resolution that's, that's right for, for any screen. If I just click Save, I can choose where to save it. And of course it will save it as a JPEG, which is what I've, what I've specified.